Hey guys, Joe here from All Around Joe. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a few tips on how to get your workouts done in super cold weather like we've been having here, which has been as cold as like negative five when we were getting our workouts done in this area. The first thing that you wanna do is commit to doing the workouts if you have the proper gear and attire to be working out in this weather. What I recommend doing first is bundling up and getting warm before you're gonna come out into the cold. Then I want you to to focus on moving as much as possible. So your breath might feel like it's caught in your lungs a little bit if it's super cold, but really get your body temperature up by starting off with something's cardiovascular right off the bat. And I highly recommend wearing gloves, wearing warm shoes, layering up at first, and knowing that you can take those layers off because you're actually gonna get warmer than you think, and it's probably even gonna feel better than you think. So that's why I recommend getting super toasty before you get out into the cold because it's not gonna chill you to the bones right off the bat and having the proper attire on is beneficial. Let's say you get started, always start off with, let's say a good 400 meter to a mile run to get the body really warmed up and temperature rising, and then do a nice long warm up. Even if the warm up for you is programmed such that is fairly quick, double that. Just do twice as much until you feel like you're almost too hot in what you're wearing, and then you can start taking those things off, and then you know that you're pretty much good to go. Also think about how you're breathing. If you're at a place like this where the elevation might be higher than you're used to, try and get some really good nasal breathing going on, not continuously all the time, but every once in a while take in a deep breath to get the oxygen deeper into your lungs and then go back to the mouth breathing. The last thing I would say is if you have stretching as part of your normal warm-up routine, I would go through moving or active stretching routines rather than static stretching routines because anytime that you stop moving in the super cold weather, it's going to start to cool you down. And it's not that you should not be working out in the cold weather, it is just that you need to prepare yourself so that you don't tighten up or that you don't actually get too cold while you're out here. You can very much overcome that by having a really active, flowing, warm, a lot of movement warm up. And then if you really need to get some stretching in before you get to the actual portion of the hard workout, that's fine. One bonus tip is that I almost always wear a warm pair of gloves, even if I'm doing dumbbell work, because our dumbbells, although they're kept inside the van, still are very cold. So have a pair of gloves that you know that you're gonna be able to keep your hands warm, as well as maybe even two pairs of gloves, one pair that is very insulated and you know that you're gonna be super warm, and one that's a little less insulated so that as you get hot, you're not going straight from the hot insulated gloves too hot to grabbing the dumbbells or barbell that is cold. You put on a different pair of gloves that still gives you that little barrier and will allow you to not just totally freeze yourself up, your hands up really quickly. There you have it. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Don't take workout days off just because it's cold outside. Make sure you have the right gear, make sure that you're prepared, but there's no excuse to not getting your workout done in super cold weather. All right guys, we'll see you on the next video.